We're going to come for havoc number two. One second as I boot up uh, Instagram. Oh, frack, I hit the wrong button. Okay. Come on, damn it. Okay, so Instagram. I'm going to do a really small video for you about my hands being bound and my eyes being blind. It's gonna look crazy. Don't recommend y'all doing this at home. Don't recommend if you're not a martial artist to even attempt this crap. And hell, if you are a martial artist, I, again, don't really recommend that you attempt this crap. Um, I've been training for quite some time in my life. And, you know, you're never going to use what I'm going to show you in your life unless you're making a movie. So if anybody wants to make a movie, I'm down. And fly me to you. Feed me. Fly me back. <laughs> That's pretty much all my requirements. You know, unless like you're Disney, then I want a full-fledged contract and a show of my own. But anyway, that being said, I'm going to blindfold me. I'm going to bound my hands and show you your limitations or your non-limitations. But I'm not going to do any backwards bounding and blindfolding. So everything's going to be up the front. All right? Let's get it done. Don't worry, I won't be doing any wushu. And that's because the doctor said I can't ever again for the rest of my life. And no, I can't actually see with no glory on my face. So always remember where you were and your environment. Now you're going to know how Daredevil feels. So your motion of your hand and your range of how far you're bound. God, I hope I'm actually looking at the camera. Is uh, what you have. You have your limitations on your blocks. There, there, there. Your other blocks. There. Knees. So if you haven't been taught how to block with your knees, the martial art teacher has ripped you off. Alright, let's begin. So you're going to go with your strikes. So. Alright, you see I can do that with these off. Now you're going to do small combo. Boom. Hand down, foot down, guards up. Okay. I'm a little discombobulated. I have no idea where I am. So, block, block, cross block. Those are for strikes that are throwing jabs at you. Boom, 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 boom. Alright, so it's going to kick. Your kick is a round kick, coming at your left side because the world is majority right-handed and right-legged. So that's a block. That's a block. That's a block. Guard still up. That's a block. 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 So if you know your blocks, you're going to be doing somewhat better than most. Now, for all of you Chinese martial artists, not literally a person that's Chinese, but for people who have studied Chinese Kung Fu, Gung Fu, Wing Chun, Wu Shu, uh, a lot of your animal styles come out of China. A lot of your blocks come out of China. I hope I'm just going to practice this for a minute. Okay, I am still in front of the camera, but I'm just not looking at the camera. Okay, so let me move back up here. God only knows how far back I was. For you guys here on Instagram, this is done, but you can find the rest of this video on Kung Fu Havoc number two. Thanks for watching.
And for you, I come for habit number two. We're going to get busy now. So I'm going to get back on what I was doing. You know. And get off of this sexy chick on Instagram here. And not my crush, Double Z. Although I did just watch her a few seconds ago. Everybody here knows who she is. <laughs> Bring the bang. Anyway, so being that was a, a, a side hint, just in case you don't know who she is. So we're going to go back into it. I got really far from the camera, so we're going to um, work on blindfold and bound fighting. All right. So did you know it's not impossible? It's highly improbable. Going to try this in real life, just in case I haven't said that like 90 times already. I want you to understand that I have trained in this for a very long time. Damn it, did I not hit the home page to get off of Instagram? <laughs> anyway, if you're going to fight blind and bound, we're not going to do it behind the back, and we are going to practice behind the back. This is just bound fighting, but for now, eyes up front are going to be bound, and arms are going to be bound. I'm not going to do anything fancy, being that as you saw what I was just doing like 40 seconds ago, I get way away and there's a lot of things around here that I can get hurt with, which is why you do not try this at home without adult supervision. And even if you are being trained by someone who has been trained the same way I have been trained, you still have to take precautionary measures. In other words, do this shit in a gym where there's mats and things that can help you in case you accidentally knock yourself out. And you could also make sure that there's someone there who has some kind of CPR training. And if all else fails, 911. The number, not the case. And also, if you're going to um, like shield your eyes from something, make sure you close your eyes also. Because it, um, it really messes you up if you don't. This will be the last part of uh, bound training and blindfolding. And I want to go over a few of the basics. You will not have a super sense of hearing because you're not literally blind. Alright? But you will hear all these birds chirping over there. And over there. And then you will think or not think that people are watching you. And they probably are. But your focus is that your hands are bound and your eyes are bound as well. So you have to know your basic shit. And all things, your basics will save you a lot faster than the fancy fancy shit. You know, when someone's coming at you, boom, front kick. Coming at you, boom, front kick. Coming at you, crescent kick. Crescent kick. Outside to inside. See, I can't hold my balance because I can't see anything. I'm also training on a hill. So those are your basic kicks, your basic blocks. Right, left, left knee and right, right knee and left. See, I said that with my right hand is up front. So left knee and left would be a little bit more practical if you were left-handed, or if you're like me, um, even-handed. There's a word for it. I can never pronounce it, okay? Expedentious. Like I said, I can't pronounce it. So, your left leg it, and you're coming at your left leg, then you lift up. If they're using their left leg, and they're coming at your left leg, you definitely want to lift up or step back. If they're right legged and they're coming at your left leg, or they're coming at your left gut area, block left side and knee about the same time. Same thing with the right. Boom. And the reason for that is, is you may not have the sense of awareness and power where you have your sight. So if you don't know how powerful the person is, you can block with both sides. There will be some downsides to this. Just in case some smart ass is about to say, well, what if they fake and sweep your foot? Of course they're going to fake and sweep your foot. You're fucking bound and you're blind. So you need to be prepared for everything in a fight. You need to be able to adapt. Left the guy from behind, boom. This here works good for ghost man training. Alright? Now, ghost man training, I did a whole video on it. You can come back and watch it. There's a tiny, tiny, tiny demonstration of ghost man training. So, in ghost man training, you 
have a certain amount of opponents that you think you can handle them in your life without getting overzealous and under like capacity. So one, two, one, two, three, four. I usually do four or five to get people attacking me all the time. So I'm dragging elbow the guy coming in. Other guy coming in. When I was younger, I used to do leg split, so we won't do that. But leg split, guy jumps over. So let's say the guy is doing cap away. Boom. 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 All I can basically do is block because of the fact that I cap away, a motherfucker is moving pretty fast. So the guy's doing jump from now. I have no idea where I am. Coming out of my way. For the prime time example, it can be done. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm going to tell you, if you're making a movie, good job. If you're training just to train, good job. But don't think that it's going to work in real life because there's a good chance that it won't. I would like to say it was a 50-50 chance that it would work. Again, I don't want to lie to you. <laughs> I would say it's more like... Um, 30, 70, I mean, you can't get lucky, <laughs> but let's keep it real, 30, 70, 30 in your favor of it winning, 70 in the favor of the guy who's not bound and not blindfolded. So from here on, we're going to do bound training, only bound training from here on. In fact, I'll start a new video about bound training. Thanks for watching. It's Comfort Epic number two.